the Somali parliament ratified a 10-year defence agreement with Turkey this month. Under the deal, the Turkish Navy will help protect Somalia's territorial waters and facilitate the training and equipping of the Somali Navy. With Turkey already having a military base in Somalia, naval analysts say the deal is another step in projecting Turkish influence. This will provide Turkey an opportunity to increase its influence in the Horn of Africa. Because all those external countries, Gulf countries, the Western countries, even Japan has a base in Djibouti. So they are all vying to increase their involvement in the region, especially for economic purposes. So this is, a, this is an opportunity for Turkey as well. The Somali naval deal comes as Ankara rapidly expands its navy to have a so-called blue water capabilities, or the ability to operate on the oceans far from the country's home ports. It focuses on the projection of uh, Turkish capacity, Turkish military capacity uh, in the maritime domain. Uh, both in protecting its own um, EEZs, exclusive economic zones, uh, waters, and also helping its allies, its partners, uh, to do the same. And as you know, like Somalia, for example, has been fighting an increasing, uh, actually, threat of like piracy. Turkey's deepening military ties with Somalia come as the Horn of Africa nation faces ongoing tensions with its neighbour, Ethiopia. But analysts say Ankara is well-placed to contain any fallout, given its good ties with Ethiopia. Uh, military cooperation, personal cooperation, I and mean, personal relations between, between leaders. I think uh, I think its relations are pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. I mean, uh, because in the region everybody seeks uh, seeks for uh, everybody looks for a sort of security cooperation, and it's same for Ethiopia. And Turkey is a security provider for Ethiopia as well. With Turkish-made military drones being widely used by both Ethiopian and Somali militaries in their wars against insurgencies, Ankara has, until now, maintained good ties with both countries. But analysts warn Ankara needs to tread carefully given the region's volatility. In the long run, this might lead to Turkey's involvement in regional conflicts. So this was what Turkey was trying to avoid uh, in its Africa policy. It does not want to be a part of African conflicts, but it might be dragged into Africa's conflicts. With Turkey's naval deal with Somalia, the latest step in projecting influence into one of the most volatile parts of the world, analysts say Ankara will need to continue to hone its diplomatic balancing skills. Dorian Jones of VOA News.